All right, so I watched Zach's video on North Carolina, his latest one at least, winning the NCAA championship, which probably will happen, you know, but I want to point out a few things that I noticed. When I was listening to the video at work, he talked about uh, Moses Malone and also the deaths of, of Daryl Dawkins. And there's been a lot of Philadelphia 76ers dying this year or last year, whatever you want to call it. Earl Lloyd, the first black NBA player, even died in February last year. He is a 76er, also a, or a Syracuse national. We also, in December, had this guy, Dolph Shays, who died. He was a Syracuse national. The Syracuse Nationals are the team that turned into the Philadelphia 76ers. And, of course, you know, in the Final Four, in order to make the championship game, it is Syracuse versus North Carolina. A lot of times, the team that wins the championship, there was some type of ritual sacrifice and murder, a death, that connects to the winning team. It doesn't always necessarily have to be the same year. So, like I'm saying, just pointing this out at least. But, you know, like even Oklahoma City Thunder, they've had all the deaths this year. I don't think that has anything to do with them winning the finals this year. I think it's connected to some other things. Possibly maybe next year or in a couple years, we just have to see how it all plays out and whatnot. But anyway, this guy, Dolph Shays, was a former Syracuse National, and then they turned into the Philadelphia 76ers and whatnot. But he died on December 10th of 2015. So the reason it sticks out so much is this guy was a Syracuse National. It's also even connected to Philadelphia, which I've talked about so much. But Syracuse, the college, if they beat North Carolina, then they will be in the championship game that's on April 4th, 4-4. This guy died exactly 116 days before that day. He was even the fourth pick in the draft, and he wore number four, kind of like a 44. 116, I've talked about a whole bunch in regards to the judges theme. This lady, the Texas judge, was shot outside of her home on November 6th, 11 6. Then, literally, we had Obama nominate Merrick Garland on March 16th. If I could find my little post here, Obama nominates Merrick Garland. They give us this thing 11 06 a.m. is when he announces it. The video is one minute long, one minute equals 116 in Gematria. Tons of other stuff with it, even, you know, goes with the death of Antonin Scalia. Obama even announces Merrick Garland to replace Scalia, or he nominates him on March 16th, which can be written as 16 slash 3. The 163rd day of the year is even June 11th, 6 11, or 11 6. But anyway. This guy dies or 116 days before 4-4. Obama's the 44th president. Tons of other stuff with 44 that I've mentioned. This guy was even the fourth pick in the draft. And he wore number four, kind of like 44. Anyway, in regards to Syracuse then, Syracuse is in their 116th season. They even have 65 wins right now. Over that is 65, so if they win the championship, they'll have 67 wins to win the tournament. The Syracuse National slash Philadelphia 76ers are even in their 67th year in the NBA. The word revelation equals 67, revelation from the Bible, also where Philadelphia comes from. The day that he died, the Philadelphia 76ers even lost uh, to the Brooklyn Nets, and it gave them a record of 1-22. December 10th equals 122. Remember, Golden State equals 122. Pope Francis equals 122. 
Syracuse also made that big, big comeback to beat Vir the Virginia Cavaliers. That's how they advanced to the Final Four to play North Carolina. Just interesting, I typed in Final Four. I noticed Final equals 24 and also the word 4 equals 24. Since the Super Bowl, I've been talking about the X theme, especially the the double X theme. That was the Super Bowl was coded to the 85 Bears who won Super Bowl 20 or Super Bowl XX. There was all kinds of stuff. I even talked about DMX, the X-Files, all kinds of stuff with it. The score in the Super Bowl is 24 to 10 even. They did the Black Panther stuff. 10 is X in Roman numerals. Black Panthers. Malcolm X. Malcolm equals 24 in Gematria. His real name was Malcolm Little. Little equals 24. X the 24th letter. So lots of 24 stuff. Xavion Dobson. The fake shooting. Even died at the age. Or died. And he wore number 24. Sorry. But what I was actually trying to get at was that he actually died on Pope Francis' birthday. He died on Pope Francis' 79th birthday on December 17th. Anyway, in regards to the Virginia Cavaliers, who they magically came back and beat, and they even scored 68 points on them, but I'll talk about that later. A Cavalier is a follower of King Charles in the English Civil War. Their opponents were called Roundheads, and they supported Long Parliament. Long Parliament in Gematria equals 67. Syracuse would finish with 67 wins in the tournament overall, and whatnot that I just talked about. So, interesting. But also, now Syracuse is going to face North Carolina in the Final Four. It sticks out to me because North Carolina is where the Carolina Panthers are from. The Carolina Panthers lost in the Super Bowl. Also, North Carolina is named after, or the Carolinas, I guess, are named after King Charles I of England. The guy who was executed in 1649 in the English Civil War. And then his sons, King Charles II, was actually exiled to France, and then his son James II also fled to France. And it makes more sense as I go along here. So, the championship of the college game is in Houston, and Houston and Gematria equals 51. Charles I was executed in 1649. The English Civil War came to an end in the year 1651. So 51 and 51, but King Charles did come back in 1660 to be king after Oliver Cromwell died. So it makes me wonder also about the Cleveland Cavaliers. Their leader is King James. I always connected it to King James, who was the guy who made the Bible in 1611 or whatever. He was King Charles's dad, King Charles I's father. But King Charles also had a son named King James who became the king and became King James II. So it could be something connected to King James II as well with LeBron. But anyway, English Civil War ends in 1651. Houston for the championship equals 60, 51. LeBron James 51. Cleveland 51. Cleveland Cavs equals 51. Cleveland hasn't won a sports championship in 51 years. The Syracuse Nationals' first NBA season was in 1949, and they won 51 games. So just kind of sticks out to me, 49 and 51. The only NBA finals or whatever that they won, the championship, was against the Fort Wayne Pistons. Fort Wayne Pistons equals 239 in Gematria. Once again, the number connected to 923, it sticks out a lot with Pope Francis and whatnot. We're also in the 239th year of the United States until July 4th this year. Also, another guy who died last year was Earl Lloyd. He was the first black uh, NBA player. He died on 226 of 2015. He was also on this team, the Syracuse Nationals. He died the same day that the Cleveland Cavaliers beat the Warriors 98 days before Game 1 of the Finals that went to overtime 
98 to 98, and the Warriors ended up winning 108 to 100. Both teams connected to these numbers too. If you write out the word 51, it equals 100, just like Cleveland and LeBron James and whatnot. 108 Golden State Warriors equals 108 in Gematria. The Warriors actually lost this game though. The score was 113, a number I've noticed connected a lot to the Warriors this year. Also, Kobe Bryant equals 113. Michael Jordan equals 113. Steph Curry wears number 30. The 30th prime is 113. But the Warriors lost 113 to 99. They won the NBA Finals, finals 99 days before Pope Francis went to the White House at 923 on 923. Golden State Warriors also equals 99 in Gematria. This is with the S exceptions. So they equal 90, 99, and 108. So in interesting that they lost by 14, yet they still won the finals. Also, I was just thinking about it. There's been a, like, Moses, there was a Moses theme in regards to the judge theme. Moses was the lawgiver and whatnot. Moses equals 71. The Ten Commandments equals 71. Super Bowl 50 equals 71. It was also called the Golden Super Bowl. Golden Super Bowl equals 71. Tons of other stuff with that as well, but just made me think of Moses. Moses Cleveland was the guy who Cleveland is named after. So, just sticks out to be the Bible, you know. Moses makes it to the end, but he doesn't get to enter the promised land, and then he dies. And he dies at the age of 120. So maybe just with all the 51 and whatnot, just maybe they're going to make it to the finals again, but they're not going to win. You know what I mean? I don't know. Just something to think about. Also, interesting in regards to kings and whatnot, or just royalty, on February 8th, the Cavaliers scored 120 points against the Sacramento Kings. Talked a lot about the Lakers as well and how they're coded into all this with Kobe Bryant and his farewell tour and whatnot. The next game that they played was against the Lakers, and they won with 120 points. And then in March, they played the Kings again, and they won with 120 points. The next game they played the Lakers, they won with 120 points. Also interesting that it was 108 points that the Lakers lost by, like Golden State Warriors 108, and then 111 and 111. I mean, just crazy that all these numbers are almost identical. And then this is the 100, the one that's connected to 51 and whatnot. 146 even equals 100. This first game, too, they've only played both of these teams twice. That's all they play on this year. It was their 51st game of the season, even. So anyway, also 120 in Gematria equals 80, just like King Charles III. So this guy would be king if Queen Elizabeth dies. I mean, notice, look at this. Age 67, like Revelation, like how many wins Syracuse would have if they won the championship game. But he even turned 67 four months and 21 days before the championship game with Syracuse on 4-4. Queen Elizabeth, his mom, who, if she dies, he will become the king. She is born on 4-21, normally the 111th day of the year. So maybe that's what these 111s are all about. We also had the 111th World Series this year with the Kansas City Royals who won. But they were, Kansas City Royals were also coded to Pope Francis. Anyway, Queen Elizabeth II in Gematria equals 168, just like Cleveland Cavaliers. I also threw in here, Obama killed by ISIS equals 168. You know what else sticks out about the 168? I mentioned a lot about Kanye West and how he has been connected to a lot of this. Clear back when he got up on stage and said Beyonce had the greatest album ever with Taylor Swift and whatnot. Well, 
Taylor Swift equals 168, just like Beyonce Knowles. Also, Kanye West was in Glastonbury because Dave Grohl fell off the, the stage and broke his leg, so Kanye West went and performed there, blah, blah, blah. September 23rd was the first day of fall. There was a whole bunch of falling stories. But anyway, in regards to the 51, Kanye West equals 51. Also, Taylor Swift, the small way, equals 51. I talked about him singing the Queen song at, uh, at Glastonbury. He sung the Mama, I Just Kill the Man, and blah, blah, blah. And I talked about how I think it's connected to killing Bar or, yeah, Obama and whatnot. It was the Freddie Mercury song. It was right after the Freddie Gray stuff. Freddie equals 51. Gray equals 51. All the Confederate flag stuff. Confederate equals 51. So just want to point that out really quick. And how it's actually connected to Queen Elizabeth once again. Didn't realize how it was connected to the Cleveland Cavaliers as well. Who lost the NBA Finals right before. Kanye even sang at Glastonbury on 627, which in the United States is also 626, the day gay marriage was legalized. You know, Freddie Mercury was in the gay band Queen. I mean, he had died of AIDS. Kanye was even connected to the Paris attacks. He even had that shirt in like 2012, Pray for Paris, from his clothing line that looked like ISIS. And it was all super connected to the number 139. But anyway, I want to move on. So Prince Charles and Jewish Gematria equals 404. A numerology, you take out the zero, would even be 44, a lot like April 4th, the day that the Final Four Tournament Championship game will be on. Also in Jewish Gematria, Pope Francis equals 404. And I just mentioned that because the Cavs are really coded to Pope Francis. The Warriors were a lot last year. I'm noticing a lot more with the Cavs this year. But also, Prince Charles equals 68 in Gematria, just like Barack Obama, just like Donald John Trump. Pope Francis is also connected to Philadelphia, where the Warriors are originally from and whatnot. And I looked at all the Cleveland Cavaliers games with the Philadelphia 76ers this year. In this game... LeBron shot 9 of 23, then the next game he shot 9 of 23, or he shot 9 of 19, I'm sorry. The next game against the Knicks, he shot 9 of 23, which just sticks out because the power went out in World Series Game 1 or whatever at 919, came back on at 923, Pope Francis went to Cuba on 919, went to the White House at, on 923 or whatever. The Cleveland Cavaliers scored 107 points, Philadelphia scored 100, 100 connected to the 51, also the 146. King Charles and Gematria equals 107. Interesting too, two of the games they won with 108 points, like Golden State Warriors and whatnot. Also, in this one, 102. Just want to point out 102 in Gematria equals 67, like Revelation and whatnot. Also, 166, the big way, the 166th day of the year this year is June 14th or 14-6, 146. Pope Francis' 1,189th day, Donald Trump's 70th birthday. Even in this game, the 76ers had 85 points. There's been a lot connected to the 85 Bears and whatnot. Curry in Gematria even equals 85. Also, if you write out the word 100, 100 equals 108. So 108, 108, 108. I'm surprised this one doesn't somehow equal 108 as well. Anyway, in regards to... The English Civil War. Would you believe that there was a supposed plot by the Jesuits and the Pope to kill King James II and also Charles II, both the sons of King Charles I, who was executed in 1649 in the English Civil War? 
It was called the Popish Plot. Supposedly it was fake and blah, blah, blah. You know, both of these stories, both sides are probably fake. This is just a fake piece of information that they give you because they code it with Gematria. But it's the Popish Plot and Popish Plot Gematria equals 56 and 146. Once again, numbers that I've talked about with Pope Francis in regards to Philadelphia. Also in regards to basketball, Philadelphia just surrounded with these numbers. Even the Declaration of Independence signed by 56 people. The first signer was John Hancock, who died at the age of 56, that signed in Philadelphia. Allen Iverson equals 56, 146. Larry Brown, 56, 146. Tons of other examples I've had in previous stuff. The 146th Pope was even only Pope for 56 days. So, I mean, just want to show you the relationship between these two numbers. He was even Pope Sylvester III. When I think of Sylvester, all I think about is Sylvester Stallone. Rocky. Rocky the boxer from Philadelphia. Anyway, this guy was the Pope that was the Pope during this plot, supposedly, the Popish plot. Pope Innocent the Eleventh. I mean, come on, yeah. I'm sure he was innocent, you know. What kind of name is that? Pope Innocent? But what sticks out, he's the 240th Pope. We're going to be in the 240th year of the United States uh, after July 4th this year, or on July 4th. So just interesting. Also, I talked a lot about both of these days before. August 12th, I've talked a lot about in regards to World War III and some other things. I can't even remember it all, but I made a whole video on August 12th pretty much. This guy even became Pope at the age of 65, like Philadelphia, the small way. Anyway, King James II uh, was the second son of King Charles, who became the king or whatever. And he was also the last king of England to be a Catholic. And he abdicated his throne by fleeing from an invasion of by William of Orange. And that's how it connects to Syracuse. I couldn't believe that, but William of Orange basically overthrew this guy, King James II, who was connected to the English Civil War and King Charles I and the Second and whatnot, overthrown by William of Orange. Syracuse are the Syracuse Orangemen. He also even died at the age of 67, once again connecting to Pope Francis and Revelation and all kinds of stuff. Notice his reign started on 2-6-1685, just like Queen Elizabeth II, also 267 years before she became the queen in 1952. The next pope will be the 267th pope. 923 this year is the 267th day of the year. If you went to this year, it would be 331 years. The 67th prime is even 331. King James II equals 107 in Gematria. King Charles equals 107 in Gematria. So William of Orange, or William III, who became the next king after him, William of Orange, he got rid of the Catholics, basically, to the throne. So it makes me wonder if the whole point is that they're going to kill Queen Elizabeth, like I've talked about over and over, and Prince Charles will become the new king to bring back King Charles III, which would also make me think the Cavaliers are going to win the finals. But to me, it seems like the other way around, considering the English Civil War ended in the year 51. There's all the 51s connected to the Cleveland Cavaliers. This guy even died at the age of 51. So anyway, back to some of the tournament stuff here. If Syracuse wins the tournament... It will be on their 38th game of this season. It's also the 38th time that they've been in the NCAA tournament. If you write out 38, it equals 68. Remember, they beat the Virginia Cavaliers. They scored 68 points. Barack Obama equals 68. Prince Charles equals 68. Donald John Trump equals 68. 68, a super important year anyway. 
the year that 911 was made the emergency dialing code, the year that George Bush graduated from Skull and Bones, the year that the World Trade Center's construction began, the year that Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated on 4-4, a lot like the day of the NCAA Tournament Championship game. Anyway, Syracuse also beat Virginia with 68 points, and the game was on Easter. Easter equals 23 the small way, 68 the big way. Syracuse's comeback was led by number 23 Richardson, who scored 23 points on Easter. I mean, just give me a break. Notice, too, the first game of the tournament, they beat Dayton, who only scored 51 points. Then they beat Middle Tennessee, who was the 15th seed, 15 and the 51 mirrors. Also 15 days before the championship game on 4-4. Four, four. If you write out 15 in Gematria, it equals 38 and 65. All these 38s and then 65 is Philadelphia the small way. They beat Gonzaga 63-60, to 60, a total score of 123. A number super connected with 51. Conspiracy equals 51 and 123. Then they beat Virginia Cavaliers connected to the 51 and whatnot from the Cavaliers stuff. And now they're on to North Carolina. Interesting that they play North Carolina on April 2nd, which equals 116 in Gematria. Syracuse upset North Carolina equals 116 as well. I know this could be both ways, but North Carolina is ranked higher, so it makes sense. 116, 116. The beginning of the video, I talked about Dolph Shays dying 116 days before the championship. It's also Syracuse's 116th season. North Carolina and Gematria equals 67. The number of Revelation and whatnot. But if it is connected to Philadelphia, it could be the Tar Heels as well. North Carolina Tar Heels equals 101, just like Philadelphia the big way. So it could still be them. I just think that they're doing some type of theme with these, the royalty and whatnot, especially after the World Series or the Super Bowl. There's just been a lot of stuff connected to the royal family. Anyway, whoever wins, North Carolina, Syracuse, in the finals, they're going to play Oklahoma or Villanova. Villanova is uh, in sur suburban Philadelphia. It also says it straddles Lower Marion Township and Radnor Township of Delaware County. Kobe Bryant went to Lower Marion High School. I mean, he is super connected to the Warriors, the Pope, basketball revelation, made tons of videos on him over the last year or more even. Villanova also won the tournament in 1985, which has been significant to this year, the 85 Bears, the World Series, Back to the Future and whatnot, Back to the Future 3 even goes back 131 years. If you write out the word 131, it equals 107, like King Charles. In Back to the Future, they used train 131 to push the DeLorean to bring it back. Back to the Future even ends. On 10-27-1985, when Philadelphia became 303 years old, this year Philadelphia became 333 years old. It was on the day that the World Series began. So who knows, you know, could be completely wrong, but just wanted to point all this out in case North Carolina does lose. I guarantee it's for this reason. It's all about the coding to the Pope. Or it's almost like the Catholic Church versus the Church of England. I talked about that in the World Series as well. So maybe it is all just connected to Prince Charles becoming the new king, which would make me think that the Cavs are going to win and North Carolina will win and whatnot. When the Panthers lost in the Super Bowl, it just makes me wonder. But wanted to point this out in case North Carolina does lose. Something to think about. Have a good day.